Hello and welcome to day 67 of the house renovation where today I'm painting the fucking railings. We're painting the railings. I'm painting this fucking uh, light right here. And we are using some cheap throwaway fucking paint brushes and uh, gloss black rust oleum protective enamel. A little view on it. That's it. Basically, we're just gonna paint all these fucking railings and then scrape this out uh, this uh, concrete down and put some paint on this So that it will be dry by tomorrow because some people are coming by to look at this place And uh, they don't want it to fucking look shabby and shit when, we, when they come by here, so that's what we're gonna do this today And then we might move around and put some poly on some shit and who knows? Let's see where the day takes us and shit. But it's a it's the beginning of the day sixty-seven and that's where we're at right now. That's what we're doing. Alright, so I just got done painting the front porch concrete and all the wrought iron railings and uh stay tuned for that a little bit later on in the video. But I just want to take this minute, this moment, to show you this invention. See that fucking screw right there, that she right screw on that paintbrush? You put that on there at an angle like that, and that way you can hang your fucking paintbrush on the edge of your paint can and shit. Ain't that cool? And you don't have to spend money going to buy one of those magnets like you get at the paint store. You just fucking turn down a, a fucking sheetrock screw or a decking screw on there, and it just fucking, that way your shit will just hang right on that fucking edge of the paint can. Because the screw head goes down in the lip. Right here, I got 248 feet of oak shoe molding, and I'm on, I've already stained it a walnut color. And I'm gonna polyurethane all this shit, right? So you wanna know the fast way to do it? Right there, fast drying, clear satin polyurethane. Shake that motherfucker up and spray it. Spray your shit. I did shit three pieces at a time. Watch your shit. This is the way you do this shit fast. Yeah. If you want to look at the timer on the video and see how long it takes, be my guess. Nah, right now, I don't have a clue. You know, I always got one fucking piece gonna flip over on you, motherfucking ass. Ain't real simple when you're trying to video it and do it at the same time. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking do the whole motherfucker. You know what I mean? One time. All the way down that bitch. You could be standing here with a fucking brush in your hand or a sponge or something. Brushing and shit like most people would do. A lot of people would do that, do it like that. Or you could get a can of spray poly. Satin is the best looking one. Shiny isn't there no more. Doesn't look good. That shit. It won't take five minutes and it should be dry as hell. Alright. 
that's it stop 248 feet of satin polyurethane quarter round uh, shoe molding in that amount of time so I, I, I didn't look at the clock so I'm, I'm guessing that it was probably around just a couple of minutes but that's your quick easy way to fucking polyurethane your shit just like that tomorrow I'll be going in there and putting all that back down putting it all down in there because it was in there before somebody took it out today we painted all the black railings on the porch and painted the concrete and the threshold around the door and shit that's what you got that's what it looks like nice clean sanded new flanges epoxy 5200 and painted Yeah. Get back, try to get a get a view of the whole fucking thing. There you go. Front porch is done. Now we're at the end of day 67 of our house renovation, where today we painted the front porch and did the hand railings and. Got all that shit fucking finished. Redid the uh, weather stripping around the bottom of the fucking door. Painted the inside of the utility room, the wall. The same wall color as what's inside the fucking house. Um, that color. It's like an antique white. And uh, also, I put another coat of dry lock inside of that flower bed fucking thing. And so that the water don't seep through the foundation. We painted the floor in there the same color as we did the front porch. In here, if I can put up a shower rod, it took me about 60 seconds because it's just one of those fucking ones that you twist. It's a tension rod. And you got the little hangers for your shower curtain. It's a little bit impersonal to put a shower curtain up there so whoever buys the house, that way they can pick their own shit. And tomorrow, I'm going to be coming in here. Oh, also today, I fucking uh, put the satin polyurethane on the... Uh, shoe molding so tomorrow morning when i come in here i'm gonna use my white dry lock and i'm gonna paint the fucking foundation around the bottom of that damn garage and get that shit done and we're gonna go ahead on it you get a little second see you see the back porch and shit it's done see that shit it's all fucking painted and everything inside the utility room's done so tomorrow we're gonna come in here first thing in the morning while it's still cool and paint that foundation and and then once we get done with doing that shit, then they're gonna fucking when it gets hotter in the day, and they come in here and the air conditioner and start putting the trim down around the bottoms of the floor. I might have to touch the baseboards up too before I can fucking put the shoe molding on because when they keep, they beat it up a little bit with the floor sanders and and they got stain on it and shit like that. They got it all over the walls, and so touch that up today. But stay tuned tomorrow for day 68 of the house renovation where that we'll be doing the foundation and the shoe molding. So if you're just joining me today on day 67, there's 66 other videos that go all the way back to the shithole days when this was a complete dump. Rotted carcasses on the floor, it stank, it was full of trash and vandalized. So you can go back and look through the videos if you want to fucking, uh, if you want to, um, watch the whole videos that's cool if not you just want to browse through it and get an idea of what we've done here if you haven't been keeping up with it you can do that too subscribe to the channel if you want and uh, if you like the video hit the like button and uh, hit the little notification bell if you want to uh, continue watching videos that'll let you know when I upload a video also um, so hit the, um, the comment section and leave a comment if you got a question i'll answer the question i respond to all the comments or you can comment to me at peninsula imp at gmail.com fucking dishwasher's flashing what's that all about look at that at least you know the motherfuckers gonna work or do something huh? anyway this is the fucking part of the day that's my favorite kill this motherfucker
Goodbye. All my shit's packed up. I'm locking the doors. <laughs> and I'm hitting the fucking trail. I'm done. Done for the day. And we are at the end of Wednesday hump day. So you know, two more days and the weekend's here and it's about a of time. So that's about it. I'm going to come out to this fucking front door now and lock this shit up. Back around and put some tools away. So, this is my second favorite part of the fucking job. It's fucking doing this shit. Locking this motherfucker up. I like that. I really like doing that. Another little view of this fucking shit up here. Wouldn't have done that to my house. I would have put new handrails and would have got away from that, that cheap shit, but we fixed it. Yeah. Got a two ton driveway. The driveway was fucked up. I'll come back around here and get a little view of this back porch. I'll put the rest of the shit in the garage, lock the doors, and uh, I will see you tomorrow on day 68. So join me tomorrow on day 68 at the house renovation where we will be doing the same old bullshit that we do every other day that you find interesting if you're watching it because I'm ready for a change of scenes. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the I'm ready for new adventures. <laughs> yeah. So alright, see you tomorrow on day sixty eight May. I'll have a great afternoon and don't get too fucked up.